Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some alcohol ink panels, but I am going to be comparing the two most popular cardstocks or paper available to do these alcohol ink panels on. So the first one is alcohol ink cardstock. This is usually my preferred method. You can see on one side it's matte and the other side it's very shiny, almost like a photo uh, paper. And the second one is Yupo paper. Now Yupo paper is a little different in that the material itself goes all the way through. So the entire paper is sort of this plasticky, really slick surface, whereas the alcohol ink cardstock has a finish on one side. So basically it's just a cardstock with that alcohol ink cardstock finish on the top. The colors I'm going to be using today are just these two. I'm using pink sherbet and also this metallic gold mixative. And of course I'm using some alcohol ink blending solution as well. And this little air puffer that you've seen me use in the past, it helps me to get a really feathery look, which I like when I'm using alcohol inks. I do want to mention that I got a lot of inspiration from this for, or for this from Ardith and Jessica Frost Ballas. So I will link their uh, videos and Instagram posts in the description. The first cardstock I'm going to be using today is the Yupo paper, and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate my cardstock around while blowing this or puffing this air onto the uh, surface of the cardstock or the paper. So first I just put down a drop of my alcohol ink and then I put a drop of my alcohol ink blending solution and that will help it uh, be able to move. Now the Yupo paper definitely allows the alcohol ink to move a little more freely and it doesn't take as much but it's also quite yellow uh, in comparison to the alcohol ink cardstock. So if that's something that you really focus on and you don't like sort of more muted colors or off white, you definitely want to consider that Yubo paper is pretty yellow. So if you're going to put it on a card base and you use something like Nina Solar White um, or really any white card base, you're going to see a difference in color in person. It's a little hard to see it on camera. I will try to show you in a minute, but uh, it's a little tougher to see. To add the gold metallic, I do the same thing. I just put a little drop on top and then I put a drop of my blending solution on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because it's pretty repetitive, but I do like the look of going from like the bottom left to the top right. I think it just looks like pretty smoke or something like that. Clouds maybe. Um, and I really like these two colors together. I am going to be adding some uh, dies from the stamp market and a sentiment from the stamp market and I will show you that at the very end when it all comes out. So I'm just finishing up this card panel here and I really love the way it looks. It's, it's really beautiful. I will say that the color of the pink sherbet alcohol ink definitely is slightly muted on this Yupo paper because of the yellow color of the paper itself. It's not as vibrant. It seems to sort of sink in a little bit more, which is interesting because you would think that because of the alcohol ink cardstock just having a coating, you would think it sinks in a little bit more that way. Uh, so maybe I'm explaining it a little bit off, but in my opinion, uh, the vibrancy is much more muted on the Yupo paper. So here's the alcohol ink cardstock and I'm starting off in the same exact way. I'm just putting a little drop of the alcohol ink and then blending solution on top of that. You can see here as I'm working with it that the alcohol ink definitely dries quicker or becomes sedentary quicker on the alcohol ink cardstock rather than the Yupo paper. I had a little bit more time to work with it and it would move a little bit more. I could sort of decide where I wanted to get the flow of the alcohol inks on the Yupo paper and the alcohol ink cardstock. I definitely don't have as much time uh, to maneuver it or manipulate it and make it go where I want it to go. So I'm doing the same thing, putting the gold mixative right on top. And again, you can see here that it's a little less fluid. So on the Yupo paper, it definitely fanned out a bit more. And on the alcohol ink cardstock, it's sort of just more of a, uh, straight shot it sort of just went right into that alcohol ink rather than becoming fluid like I like I mentioned. So I'm going to go in the same path from the bottom left to the top right. I'm definitely getting more of a broader path and you can see that it's sort of moving in 
either direction rather than just diagonal. And I think that's because I felt like I needed to use a little bit more uh, blending solution with the alcohol and cardstock. I'm not sure if that was the alcohol and cardstock or my heavy hand with the blending solution, uh, but either way, it definitely doesn't go in the same path. It, it definitely fans out a bit more. And I think that's because, again, I don't have as much time to sort of maneuver it and make it go the way that I'd like it to go. You can see here without any special lighting that you can definitely see the yellow on the Yupo paper on the left and the vibrancy of the alcohol inks on the right really stand out. I even got a really cool purple there in the bottom portion of that uh, just because of the vibrancy and the reaction with the very white uh, alcohol ink cardstock. So here is the finished product. The one on the left is the Yupo paper. The one on the right is the alcohol ink cardstock. Now this is of course under special lighting and I've edited the photo uh, to look nice and pretty. So it looks very vibrant. Both look very vibrant here. Um, but you can see the main difference here is the path that the alcohol ink took. The way that I had time to maneuver the path and the way that the alcohol ink would move on the Yupo paper rather than the alcohol ink cardstock. To finish off my cards today, I used the Hay Dyes from the new release from the stamp market as well as the Sentiment I Think You're Fabulous from the Circles and Sentiment stamp set, also from the stamp market. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know in the comments what your preferred paper or cardstock is to use for your alcohol ink projects. As always, links to all of the products, my blog and social media is in the description. Again, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.